all right everyone welcome back so now we have the functionality of like adding a post uh, and now let's work on uh, the posting medias so we will be able to post uh, images as well as videos and uh, we are going to do that uh, separately like create separate buttons for image and videos so let's just jump in i am going to go to the um i will go to this uh, file that is uh, create post and i'm going to paste the um, html for the videos and image and uh, these are like what now the two buttons we have input type pile for the images and we have added the wire model and that is images and we have to create that variable in the component php file and after that we have uh, another uh, uh, another input uh, field for the videos and here we will be able to like post the video so and then we are loading the icons from the uh, feather icons that we have imported at the top so we will be able to like get the image icon and uh, the video icon now we need some uh, css by default this is going to display this input field in the in the uh, in the ui but we have to hide that like if i view that without um, hiding it let's see how does that looks like now as you can see here uh, the input file uh, like the input field uh, looks uh, so we have to hide that and uh, i'm going to uh, paste the styling here so style and then i'm going to paste that styling as you can see here we have the uh, upload btn wrapper and if i press ctrl d it's going to do, uh, show both of them so we have that for video as well as uh, images and we are targeting the uh, the file type and hiding that from the opacity and something like that so i am going to uh, refresh the page now and we will see that these are going to be hidden yeah so now it looks good here we, we can click on choosing uh, files and this is going to uh, choose videos so i will go to the component and we have something wrong here so double styling so I'm going to remove the one and it's going to be the same thing. So I'm going to go to the API component PHP file and create those two variables, the images and videos, uh, video. So this will be like posting, allow you to post one video at a time. And uh, we will have to validate that as well, but if it does exist, then go ahead and validate it. Otherwise do not validate. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, so now we have the images and uh, videos variable so now we have the um, post media right post media model so that's where we have to save, save these things so if um, post has a media then I will come here and uh, check if if uh, the uh, this of uh, let's say images exist then go ahead and uh, do one thing like uh, I will create a variable let's say um, dollar images and um, set that equal to empty array and after that come here to this if statement and for each of the image go ahead and store that for each for each loop so for each of the uh, dollar this of um, this of images go ahead and uh, store that so I am image and uh, store that and return the value to uh, store the, store the name in this variable and uh, so to, uh, I will call the store method so image uh, store and store that in the post slash images and this is going to be public and uh, this is going to store all the names in this and after that we have to um, store them in the post media so I'm going to create post media and importing that from the models and create uh, let's see what are the fields in this so these are the fields and I'm going to paste them right here and 
use this thing now the post id so i am going to store this in a, uh, in a variable so let's say post equals to this and here i'm going to call that id so post id oh not this thing post id now once we have the id we have the file type so this is going to be let's say image and do we have static file types i think we don't have so if i go to uh, uh post media post media uh yeah that is string that is good we can pass any type of file so now the file itself so uh, we have files not one file so uh, what i'm going to do is uh, json encode the uh, array that we created so json underscore encode and passing the images variable local variable and after that uh, we have the position uh, let's say general i don't think we gonna be needing this now another thing i have to mention here is uh, we have multiple assumptions so we have to use a database transaction for that so i'm going to do uh, import the db uh, facade and then begin transaction and then try and catch block so try catch and here i'm going to pass that code and once that is done then commit the changes so db commit and if there is any error then throw the error and uh, db roll back the transaction itself so now I'm going to permit that. Now we should be able to post the images. And uh, before we test that, uh, I'm going to add another thing right here that is a preview of the image. And uh, for that, we have to use file upload. So use uh, pile up with file uploads, yes. And let's try that out in the create post. So now here. Uh, if we have the images then we are going to preview the the images so i'm do like at f and then dollar images this is going to the, this is the variable that we have over there and if we have the image then go ahead and uh, for each of the image dollar images as image and then i'm going to use the img tag here so uh, src is going to be as uh, in the live wire we have temporary file upload so i'm going to use that to actually um, load the um, the image for the preview here so uh, that is a temporary url like uh, if i search online live wire file upload temp url uh, this is going to return some results I will open this this is the validation and uh, here we have the um, error and we haven't included that so let's include that as well so if there is any error in the content then content then go ahead and display that so um, we can use this one so copy and paste and this is going to be uh, content and display the message so um, this is going to do that and uh, this we have to set width and height because this is going to be a large image so let's say width is going to be 100 pixel can customize that to anything you want but here we have to add the temp fury url so if i search for the temp uh, url temp file upload that is um this method i forgot the name so now if i save this we can test that out so i will save that come here and refreshing the page
so I will click on the photo and let's go to some images so pictures let's add two pictures and see if that's going to load the preview yeah one and two it loads the preview but I think the width is too large but that seems to be fine now another thing is that now we are able to submit the form without um, like we don't have client side validation as you can see you got the message the error message we don't have client side validation for this one so I'm going to add the required field to this so required and now we will have client side validation for that now that is done for uh, the image upload like if I write something like hello dude and uh, we have two images and if I save this let's see if uh, how and yeah, as you can see we got your post has been published and after that we have to uh, empty the or clear the images variable as well just like the content so I'm going to come here and dollar this up images also on set so now if I refresh this is going to uh, clear that once we post that so I will see you in the next one where we will work on the um, video upload